Hello, my name is Russ McKay. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of IBM Maximo 7.6 and the Autodesk Large Model Viewer. We have Maximo 7.6 integrated with the Large Model Viewer and we use this for a facility management BIM solution. So BIM is Building Information Modeling. Um, what we have is a building uh, which we've imported into Maximo, which we modeled inside Autodesk Revit and which we're going to view inside the Autodesk Large Model Viewer, all integrated into the Maximo user interface. The building I have is part of IBM Dublin's Briefing Center. So, Dublin Briefing Center, we can see we've got quite a few objects uh, located in the building. I'm just going to go straight to the building here. This is a location view of the building. This is the Maximo location a dialogue or part of it. Um, I've got a little bit of information on here. Um, we can put as much information as we want. You can see we've got the the children in the building hierarchy here. So the building hierarchy is based on a thing called COBE, uh, Construction Operations Building Information Exchange. And the COBE information was generated from the Revit model um, and we've imported that COBE into Maximo. Um, so I've showed you the, the basic dialogue for locations. What I want to show you now is the large model viewer which is integrated into Maximo. So this is the viewer, it's very easy to use. It's all cloud based. On my machine I have nothing, I've got a browser, that's it. Uh, Maximo is based in the cloud somewhere and the large model viewer is also based in the cloud, both on different systems, anywhere in the world. I don't know where, I don't care where. All I'm bothered about is that I can get to the data when I need it. Uh, having it cloud-based is much easier to use. It means we don't need to install anything on the machines. We don't need to maintain anything on the machines. Um, everything is updated remotely. I'm qu completely safe to go from machine to machine. Nothing's lo located on my machine at all. So it's a very mobile, portable and flexible solution. Right, so this is the viewer. To enlarge the model, all I need to do is bring my mouse towards me while holding the left mouse button to rotate the model I click the left mouse button and move to the left and the right very easy um, now this is a quite a, an involved model by the way to, to move or pan left and right I press the right, right mouse button and uh, you can pan left and right or up and down just moving the mouse um, you can see, if you look very carefully, I've got some plumbing detail in the model. So I've got a set of sinks down there. This is obviously in a cloakroom somewhere. And I've got a toilet there and some urinals there. I've got my plumbing underneath here, so that's the drainage. And I've got what appears to be the hot water system over here. Now I'm not sure what these parts are. Luckily all I need to do is left click on the part and Maximo immediately zooms in on the part and up here it tells me which part's been selected. So this is the water tank, this is the water heater and I'm sure there's a pump somewhere to uh, pump the water around. I don't know where the pump is so I can do a search on that. So more search fields up here and if I just type in pump we should be able to find the pump and there it is so there's the pump so again looking at that in context all I need to do is move the mouse backwards and forwards and I can see where this pump is located so it is in fact located very close to the other parts of the water heating system. So let's say I wanted to raise a work order against that pump. All I need to do is select the pump and go up here and say create a work order against the pump. There's the work order created. I give it a priority one. Let's say we want to replace it. Replace pump it's noisy, that'll do. So I've now generated a work order inside Maximo completely graphically just using um, the Autodesk viewer. 
Now the viewer and Maximo linked together are very very powerful. You can do very many things. Um, it's clearly a lot easier to find assets using a 3D model than it is textually finding assets in Maximo. Um, because we're doing things in 3D we need to be able to do things in 3D that aren't actually related to the work. For example, um, let's say I wanted to find the sinks. Now you know because you've just seen this that the sinks are behind that wall but I don't know that. So what I can do is select a wall and then hide it. So now I've hidden the wall I can see the sinks. So that makes it easy for me to remove all the walls for example to navigate around the building. So obviously I don't want to go selecting each wall one at a time and then going hide selected. There's a much easier way of doing it than that. I can do that by hitting the model browser here and going to walls, selecting that and then go hide selected. Now all of the walls have been hidden. What if I select the walls? Okay, so when things are selected, I can hide them and I can unhide them by hitting the show button. So let's say I just wanted to hide exterior walls. I can do the same thing, just hide exterior walls or whatever. And then coming back up to the top, I can just show everything again inside the model. So that's the end of a very quick demonstration. In fact, now I'll tell you what, we'll do another demonstration. Let's do a demonstration around fire extinguishers. So this time, what I'm going to do is go back to my home page. I'm going to go to locations. I'm going to search on anything associated with fire. And it's brought up a number of fire extinguishers and other devices here. So I can select and view and then what I can do is just navigate through the model to all of the different fire extinguishers inside the model. You can't see very well where that fire extinguisher is. They all look as if they're in the same place. They're all the same fire extinguisher type so they all look the same when you zoom in in close on them but you can see that they're actually all in different locations here. Go to the next one so in the similar way as we did before I can select the item moving through in Maximo and I can raise work orders against whatever I've selected. Again I might want to remove the wall or something to make it easier to see this fire extinguisher or maybe I want to uh, just rotate things around that's obviously a lot easier to see because I've gone on the other side of the wall just by rotating the model around. As I said you rotate the model just by using the left mouse button. So once we can see the fire extinguisher I can click on the fire extinguisher and I can you notice it changes colour once I've selected the object, all I need to do again is press that button and raise the work order against it. So I'm not going to bother doing that. Maybe I want to find out if any other work's already been done on that fire extinguisher. To do that, all I need to do is inspect asset details. In fact, no, we can do it with this one here. Search for and display work orders and preventative maintenance. So that's going to tell me what work's already been carried out against this fire extinguisher. And you can see there's quite a lot of work already taking place against the fire extinguisher. This is Maximo, remember. So because it's Maximo, I can put work orders and job plans in, preventative maintenance, I can schedule things, I can optimize scheduling, I can do anything that I would normally do in Maximo. All we're doing is using a 3D viewer to help us locate the items inside. 3D model. So that's the end of the demonstration. Thank you very much.